This is the seventh album from Taylor Swift. She has easily been one of the biggest names in music for the 2010s, and even prior to that too, she was a pretty big name at the start of her career, but it's pretty safe to say that since 2010, she has been massive. To add to that as well, she's kind of been controversial in some ways, very strangely somehow. I've always felt that she's had a bit of an unfair reputation being thrown on her for numerous reasons that I just think aren't really strong enough to warrant the backlash that she gets sometimes. But it's how the media works and that's never going to change. That kind of thing doesn't interest me, although I'm always more interested in the music itself, and I feel that Taylor has put out some really good music over the years as well. Her last album easily being her worst, um, it's a complete mess, I just can't really say much about it. I think the styles that she attempted to go for really failed, but there were some good tracks on it as well, so even at her worst she can still put out good songs like Delicate for example. And without taking into account that Pitchfork suddenly recently decided that Red was a great album, I've always thought that Red was a great album as well. So yeah, I mean, it's controversial for music nerds and music lovers to say it, but I don't care. I like Taylor Swift. I think she's very talented and she's put out some really good music over the course of the decade. And with the fact that in 2015 there was a bit of a sea change towards pop music after Emotion dropped by Carly Rae Jepsen, I feel as though music critics slowly, slowly started to treat pop music differently at that point. And I just don't see why we can't do the same for Taylor, to be honest. But leading up to Lover, it was very weird because the mishmash of styles that she was throwing out there as singles just made me instantly know that this album was going to be a bit all over the place. And I I was right. This is a bit of an all over the place album. Look, th this is the thing, right? I, I've just said that she's had some really good music in the past, even some great albums up until this point, but Lover just isn't one of them. There, there are some bad songs on this album scattered throughout, but the biggest issue really is just how lacklustre all of it is. Like some of these tracks just don't have much to them at all. There are just so many tracks, particularly tracks like Daylight, for example, that just uh, are just so bland. They're just so bland. They are just uh, so boring. There's just nothing going on uh, with them at all. There's maybe some nice synth work going on on a few tracks, you know, you need to calm down some pretty solid instrumentals. But Taylor as a performer, is just not giving it her best at all. And then there's just the absolute cringiest moments of her career with songs like Me and London Boy. I don't hate Me, I really don't. I think a lot of people really, really dug into it when it first came out. I just think it's a mediocre track, but like in terms of the lyrics, what a poorly written song this is. And fucking London Boy, it's just this 2011 Tumblr American teen fetish with British boys like Benedict Cumberbatch and fucking Robert Pattinson. Jesus Christ, how old were you when you wrote this song, Taylor? Ugh. You see, the thing is, is that something like Reputation was bold. Like, it definitely fell apart in so many areas, like on a song like Ready For It. Um, I do think that song is a mess of a song, but I'll give her the benefit of the doubt in the sense that, well, she tried to switch things up and went for something different, but like the instrumentals on so many of these tracks, like the opening one, I Forgot That You Existed, I mean, what an apt title for a song because every time that song finishes, I just completely forget that it is a track on the album. Same with Cornelia Street, I just feel like the, the production and the performances here all around are really weak. There isn't a strong enough chorus to kind of keep you invested in the song either. Like, songs on 1989, I think, had really strong choruses. Even on some of the worst tracks, um, they still had memorable choruses that got stuck in your head. But so much of this album fails to do that. The absolute best moments for me are the ones that just sound like vintage Taylor Swift. Lover being the 
the easy standout on the album for me. I just think this is the perfect sound that she goes for. And whenever she does, she can really, really nail it. It just reminds me of the best tracks from the album Red. And I think that was her best era because she really, really got the got it all right with the lyrics the production i just think this is a really really good song for her similarly with the archer as well i don't think the archer is quite as good as lover but i just think she strips away all that facade that character that she puts up there for people to see and it's always felt fake to me like songs like shake it off or you know look what you made me do like i've always felt like those are just they're just not the real Taylor like they're just uh, they're just so fake to me and I just don't get that realness from her like I do on songs like The Archer, Lover or even Cruel Summer. A fantastic pop song, the only song on the album that feels like a pure pop song and through and through it, it kills like the verses, the bridge, the chorus especially as well. The production on here is fantastic. I know St. Vincent got involved on in this one, which is really cool. It's also produced by Jack Antonoff. It's just all around a great pop song that I think this entire album is missing. Now, I know I've gone in on this album and, you know, kind of attacked how bland it all is, but that's kind of the biggest issue, really. Like, it all just flies over my head. There aren't really many bad moments it's just all really mid. Soon You'll Get Better with the Dixie Chicks is a decent enough track, it's fine, it's a nice country song, but in the midst of this album, it sticks out so poorly, like there is just no reason to throw this in there. I just think it's a, it, it, it's just weird to see that she wants to kind of keep that authenticity that she had like 10 years ago, but she's clearly thrown that all away, so throwing this in the middle of this album feels kind of fake to me. You've left that behind, so throwing this here now, it, it just feels a bit too late, I think. But I can't deny that it is a solid country track, and uh, I would take it over something like False God, which is a song that just really makes this uh, flaccid comparison between religion and her love story. I would say it's very cliche to do at this point, and with Taylor having so many songs about love and about breakups and about relationships at this point, it just doesn't really stand out, I don't think. Now, I will say one standout moment on the album is The Man, where she's talking about this idea that if she was a man, she would have gotten places quicker than what she has done as a woman. Um, how she's had it harder than if she were as a man. I don't know if this is necessarily true, but I think it's an interesting conversation to have and there could potentially be something to what she's saying, but it's just not that well written of a song, I don't think. Some of the lines she comes through with on this song just make me wince a little bit, to be honest. And I think it is kind of weak to just, you know, excuse a lot of your own mistakes by the fact that you know, you'd have it easier if you were a man. I think that is kind of a bit of a weak claim to make, to be honest. But I did already say at the start of the review that she has had this weird reputation for a long time, and perhaps it has got something to do with the fact that she is a woman, but this is a conversation to be had in a different video, I think. It's just something you'd have to really deeply analyze before you could make a claim like that. But even still, the song itself doesn't sound that good. It's not really that well written overall. Um, yeah, it, it really is just a track on the Lover album where so much of it is like this, where the chorus is weak, the, there is no strong hook, there isn't really a particularly interesting melody either. It's just really another song on Lover with a different lyrical topic. Sure, I'd definitely take it over a song like Me, but yeah, that, that's about as much as I can say. It's not that good. So yeah, I don't know, man, this is just whatever. It kind of doesn't stop me in my tracks that many times. The best tracks are pretty much all at the start. So it does kind of leave most of the album just being there, I guess. Wouldn't really say it's a bad album, but it uh, leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, Taylor has a lot more in her than this, but I just don't know. I think this could be the point in her career where she kind of starts to lose that steam that she once had many years ago, because 
This album isn't providing the hits like she once did. I mean, the singles so far haven't really <laughs> been that big and they kind of faded away quite quickly. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, it's a real shame. Like I say, she has got it in her. In previous albums, she's definitely delivered, but this isn't one of them. Gonna go 5 out of 10. Really mediocre for me. Let me know what you think of the album, if you're a fan of her. If you think this is good or if you think it's better than I'm saying it is, fine, fair enough. Let me know why. Have a good day and goodbye. Subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye.